Wish it do. Today we're gonna be reviewing whiskey. It's good. Visit punkrevolutionnow.com for more info. And this is like the 11th time I have taken this shot, so this better be good. So let's just get started. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, Unwound's newest album, Leaves Turn Inside You, released in 2001. A fucking masterpiece. I have it ranked as the number 12th best album of all time on my list of best albums of all time on my website, punkrevolutionnow.com, and also on my YouTube video, which you have hopefully seen. And now I'm going to fucking tell you why this album is a masterpiece, why I love it so much. Why it's so fucking good. Let's get the review started. Let's take a look at the album cover. This is a really interesting cover. I think it takes a lot of courage to make your album cover something that's just all gray. Because if you're thinking from like a marketing perspective, like like if a, if a modern day record label was to release an album, they'd be like, no, 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 you cannot use this cover. It's not marketable enough. It's not eye catching and bright enough. People are gonna see it and they're not gonna think anything of it and move on, okay? Unwound, they don't, they got their music so good they don't need to worry about putting on a flashy album cover to catch your eyes. They can literally put out an album cover that's all gray with like the word unwound on the bottom and some sort of weird font that you can barely read. They can do that and they can pull it off and they can just fucking own it because their music is that good. They could do whatever the fuck they want with the album cover and it's still going to go down as one of the best albums of all time. So let's talk about that. What's so what's so special about what's going on in this music? I think I think the number one thing that impresses me the most about this album really is the incredibly efficient songwriting from Unwound. Unwound has always been incredibly efficient, and what I what I mean by efficient is I mean literally every single note they are playing, every riff, every bass line, every drum fill, everything they do is so fucking good. There's always, always, always an amazing fucking riff going on, an amazing bass line going on, and amazing fucking drumming going on. Unwound only has three band members, and all three of them fucking shred. Justin Strasper on the on vocals and also the guitar. His guitar work is like a blend of David Pajo from Slint and Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead. Yes, that I mean that's a that's a, that made that's an amazing guitarist. You got the creepy kind of angular kind of strange riffs that you might hear in Slint, combining with the kind of jazzy intricate guitar work you're gonna hear from Johnny Greenwood and Radiohead. Yep, you bring that together and you have one of the best, you have one of the best fucking post hardcore indie rock guitarists of all time, Justin Trosper, fucking genius. And then you got Vern Rumsey, rest in peace, passed away last week. That's why I'm making this video. Fucking amazing bassist. His basses, his bass lines could literally carry this entire band. His bass lines are so catchy and so thrilling and exhilarating and, and, and mind-boggling that, that he could have gone to some mediocre band and that still would be an amazing band. But no, he was paired with an amazing guitarist and drummer as well. Fucking outstanding. I mean, my band died literally has so much influence. I mean... And then there's the drummer, Sarah Lund. Sarah Lund... I can just tell she's got that jazz background because the way she plays is so intricate and so delicate and so like, so like, it's not just about hitting as hard as she can, it's so thoughtful. She's such like an intellectual drummer, which is so, I love when punk combines with those intellectual musicians because you get some really interesting stuff. But of course, she also knows when to get fucking hard as well. But just, I mean, just listen to her drumming. It's so hypnotic. Another thing this, this album has in common with Slend, it's just so fucking hypnotic and mysterious. And, who, who. and when you combine these three musicians together, you get something that actually sounds a lot like Bach, in the sense that all three of these musicians, they're never passive. They're all really constantly just doing something really, really mind-boggling, really complex, kind of like a really nice puzzle fitting together. So the, the bass and drum, you know, the bass and drum are all like really like, kind of like perfect together. And then you have the guitar and bass, which are like, kind of like, like that. So you get an amazing puzzle that fits together brilliantly, a lot like Bach. You know, and Sunwound has always had outstanding musicianship and songwriting throughout their discography, but what makes Leaves Turn Inside You next level, besides the fact that they managed to do that consistently for over 70 minutes, is the fact that they are branching out and exploring different sounds more than they ever have before, creating a very diverse album that is just constantly stimulating from start to finish. In the first half of the album, that's where you're gonna find the majority of their more traditional song structures, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, rock songs, and they're gonna show you what the fuck they are fucking capable of doing. They are gonna fucking blow your mind in this structure. The verses and the choruses, like I already said, 
Don't waste a fucking note. Every single verse. Like it's like so catchy. It's almost like pop. it's so catchy. It's almost poppy. So you take these kind of pop songs that are really just buried within this really dark and punk atmosphere, uh, and you have extremely consistent and extremely catchy verses and choruses. But then you're gonna layer on all these really interesting textures. Even though there's three band members, uh, they're gonna they're, they 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 dive in with some really interesting layers here in terms of the guitar effects they're using, some interesting guitar effects they've never used before, and also vocals. They got this really cool vocal technique where one side of the headphone, you'll hear the vocals coming through clean, and then the other side of the headphone, you'll hear the vocals coming in with some weird effect that's like, ah, so it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, that's, that's like kind of fucking your brain up and it sounds really cool. And then you also, on top of that, you have the really catchy, you know, like, like, just amazingly catchy guitar riff, and then you got the hypnotic drumming coming in too. Whoa, 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 And then you have the bass line that's on the that's holding the whole thing together. That's like the catchiest part of it all. The bass line is like it's like it's like literally dancing with the fucking guitar. The guitar goes and the bass goes do 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 whatever it does, and it's just like do 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 It's like a it's like a it's like a complex dance between the bass and guitar and drums, and then you got the weird effects coming on both sides of the headphones. It's like a psychedelic storm. And once you think you got this album figured out, it hasn't even fucking started. Okay, you're listening through one amazing indie rock song after another. Impeccable songwriting, okay? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then you get to Terminus, okay? And that song starts how you might expect. Really awesome, kind of intellectual, slightly noisy, slightly abrasive, post-hardcore riffs that you would expect from Unwound. And that's awesome, sounds fucking great, sounds great, sounds great. And then the song, you know, kind of goes into a little bit of a groove, this kind of hypnotic riff. Okay, that sounds cool, that sounds cool. And then there's like these string sections that come in. And the song kind of builds and builds and builds with this gorgeous string section and then BOOM! All of a sudden before you know it, you're in the middle of listening to like a gorgeous post-rock song that's so exhilarating and so emotional. It's like Godspeed You Black Emperor, except the foundation, the heart of the song, you can still hear that trio of Unwound still you know, pushing the song forward, but it's like, it's a fuck. It's, it's it's fucking post rock out of fucking nowhere. You're just listening to indie rock, and then the song kind of evolves, and then before you know it, you're back into this kind of like really kind of like thought provoking intellectual kind of groove of unwound playing, and it's just like really hypnotic and shit. And you're like, did anyone see that fucking happen? Did anyone see this fucking this indie rock record just turn into a fucking Godspeed You Black Emperor song for a second, and it was fucking a fucking mind fuck. And from there onwards, this album is just mindfuck after mindfuck after mindfuck. Because an Unwound at this point in the album has already demonstrated to you, hey look, we are capable of writing these amazing verse chorus, verse chorus, three and a half minute songs. We just knocked that traditional song structure out of the fucking park. And now look, we're also capable of doing these crazy post-rock, noisy, sonic youthy, crazy, epic songs that sound like three songs combined into one, like an extremely ambitious mindfuck song. We can do everything because we're literally the best fucking band in the world. We're, we're fucking amazing. And then and they just literally just show you throughout the rest of the album, they're just going to display to you the connection between that indie rock, amazing, tight songwriting with the ambitious and they explore going all over the place. And it's not just a game of intellectual. Let's just let's explore these different genres and do these intellectual riffs. There's also a, a lot of emotion coming through here too, uh, especially in the vocals like Summer Freeze, such a depressing song. Sounds like you're like, you, you, you just woke up, you only got five hours of sleep last night, and now you gotta go to work, so you have to go out in the snow, and you're just like trudging through the snow, and it's so depressing, and you're, you, you hate your job, but you just gotta get through the day, and it's just like, da, 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 da. It just it just feels like a trudge. It's it's heavy. So this song this, this this album is like it's like from a from a musical standpoint, from like a strictly like analytical standpoint, it knocks out of the park and it also brings a lot of that really awesome depressing punk emotion too. It's a fucking masterpiece right there. 10 out of 10. I can listen to this album so much not only cuz it's so consistent while also being so long, but also just because it's so it fits, it hits a specific mood that like is just so essential. It's just so essential to me.
So of course I'm giving it a 10. Of course it's one of the best albums of all time. Of course so. Uh, so that's all I gotta say. I hope you like this album. I hope you like this review. If you don't like this album, go check it out and maybe re-listen to it um, or re-listen to Un Unwound's discography because they're amazing. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like my content, please make sure to like and comment and subscribe because that rigs the algorithm so more people watch my videos. So help me rig the algorithm so I can get a million subscribers and we're gonna fucking have a punk revolution now and we're gonna We're coming for you, Anthony Fantano. We're coming for you, you fucking stupid bald bick. Punk Revolution now, thanks for watching.